Welcome to County Office, your ultimate guide to local government services and public records. Let's get started. How does the gift card scam work? Gift card scams involve various tactics to deceive victims into purchasing and sharing gift card details, allowing scammers to exploit the funds. Here's a detailed breakdown of how these scams typically operate. Initial contact. Scammers often initiate contact through email, text message, or social media, posing as a family member, coworker, or authority figure, such as a government official. Urgency and deception. They create a sense of urgency, claiming that immediate action is required to avoid negative consequences or to fulfill a critical need. This urgency is designed to prevent the victim from verifying the request. Gift card purchase. The scammer instructs the victim to purchase specific gift cards, often from well-known retailers like Target or Walgreens. They may even stay on the phone while the victim makes the purchase to ensure the task is completed. Request for card details. Once the gift card is purchased, the scammer requests the card number and PIN from the back of the card. This information allows them to access and use the funds on the card. Monetization. Scammers can then use the gift card details to make purchases, redeem the funds, or resell the gift cards. They might also use the cards to buy high-value items and resell them for cash, effectively laundering the money. Common tactics. Social engineering. Scammers use social engineering techniques to build trust and create a false sense of urgency. They may claim to be from a government agency or a company, demanding payment via gift cards. Physical tampering. In some cases, scammers tamper with gift cards in retail stores by copying the card numbers and activation codes. Once the card is activated, they can use the stolen details to drain the funds. Digital exploitation. Cybercriminals may use brute force attacks or malware to hack into gift card company databases, stealing card numbers and activation codes. Protective measures. Verify requests. Always verify the authenticity of requests, especially those that seem urgent or unusual, by contacting the supposed sender through a trusted channel. Inspect gift cards. Before purchasing, inspect gift cards for any signs of tampering. Ensure the protective stickers are intact and the pin is not visible. Keep records. Keep a copy of the gift card and the original store receipt. This can help in reporting fraudulent activity and potentially recovering lost funds. Helpful resources, county office slash www.countyoffice.org, Federal Trade Commission, consumer.ftc.gov slash articles slash avoiding and reporting gift card scams. Arcoslabs.arcoslabs.com slash explained slash gift card frosh. To learn more, check out these links, which you can click in the description below. And feel free to comment your questions. We're here to help. Thanks for tuning into our video. Please like and subscribe and leave a comment below. See you in the next video.